Service, come here, sister. Come here, come here, come here. Get <laughs> now, how much more should you be telling the story? Mother Collins, you know what? I could still be laying in my bed right now. I could have checked out of here, but guess what? This man got me up this morning, touched me with the finger of love, and told me to rise up out of my bed. And guess what, Sister Sherman, when I got up, I had the activity of my limbs. I looked at my hands, and my hands look new. I looked at my feet, and they did too. I put my feet down on the side of the bed, and I could walk. Y'all ain't gonna help me in here. I put my hands together and I could clap my hands. And I opened my mouth and I could say, Hallelujah. You ought to tell somebody about the goodness of the Lord. Everyone is standing. Everyone is standing. Everyone is standing. Everyone is standing. And they were overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Faith come by hearing, hearing by the word of God. You ought to speak the word of God every day. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. And the reason why we go through so much in our life because we're always speaking death in our life. How you doing today? Well, child, I don't know. I just got to shut off notice. I don't know what I'm going to do. How's the family going? Well, you know that man ain't no good. That Negro make me sick. Y'all looking at me strange in here. How are your children doing? Huh? Child. Y'all fill in the blanks. But replace all that negativity that you speak and speak life. Don't speak the circumstance that is before you, but speak the circumstance that God is going to create out of the circumstance you're currently in. Uh -huh. how's, that, how's that man of yours doing, child? He's going to do better. I know that. The Lord going to raise him up. God going to save him, clean him up, put him on a job. He's going to take care of his family. That's what God going to do. How those children of yours doing, child? You don't know the half. I, I saw a vision, and God, Lord, they were graduating from college and, and got a good job. And Come on, somebody. You ought to start speaking life. Matter of fact, you ought to start rejecting all of those that speak negativity around you. You ought not even want them in your presence. Don't come to me because I'm not your garbage can. There's an old saying that says, hear all you can, but don't can all you hear. Sometimes you got to spray some raid at the roaches and repel them. Y'all looking at me strange. Folk come to you and say, child, did you hear? No, and I don't want to hear from you either. Am I in the right house? That's why we so weighted down all the time. We always taking on garbage. You can't have look at Sister Teresa straight because somebody done told you something about her. You don't even know her that well. Ain't never had a, a five-minute conversation, but you got your nose all twisted up around her because you taking in someone else's garbage. Brother says we ought to speak life. Y'all ain't gonna help me preach in here. I, I, I feel led to do this now. Brother VJ, I got a box upstairs. It's got some CDs in it called Watch Your Mouth. Somebody need to take them home today. Saints of God, we ought to start speaking life. And if we're going to open our mouths to tell something, it ought to be about the goodness of the Lord. It ought to be about how God is blessing. Spring of hope, let's not talk about all of the negativity. But child his problem and that do you know she think that and this think that and they this ain't doing that no 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 speak life speak about the wonderful job that these volunteers are doing in the after school program speak about what's happening on the mother's board speak about all of the good things that god is doing around here you ought to say something 
but there's something you ought to say ought to speak life into dead situations and maybe somebody here today needs a word spoken into your situation you received and received everything that everyone else has said unto you but the Lord has a good word for you I preached a message one time and said I got good news and that is the bad news isn't true you ought to look at somebody and say the bad news you heard that's a lie it's a lie it's a lie but God has some good news that he wants to speak into your life and if you need some good news I challenge you to come right now I challenge you to come right now I challenge you to come right now you need some good news spoken into your spirit the rocks are going to cry out I don't want to walk the rock. rocks crying in my place and yeah, I don't praise the Lord the rocks are going to cry out I don't want, don't want no rocks, rocks crying out in my place. If I don't praise the Lord, the rocks are going to cry out. I don't want, don't want no rocks, rocks crying out in my place. Every one of you that have come, I want you to just lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm not going to ask you your situation or what reason you have come. You know and the Lord knows.